next up on my collection journey are my pens. I am going to sort them by brand. Um, I will note a lot of them have like added gems because I add gems to everything, <laughs> like my trays, all that fun stuff. Um, so like I said, I will be putting links to the amazing makers and details and all that fun stuff in the video. So let's get started. Also, if you're wondering where I got this pen holder from, the sticker, the gems, and the tape is added by me, but it is from NYX Notions. I have a ton of stuff from this shop. They are bomb digs, obviously. Um, and literally, I have an order that I'm waiting on now with them because I'm constantly ordering from them. So if you want something like this, it comes in different colors. It doesn't come with this stuff, but that's okay. That's the beauty of getting things plain. You can add to them. Also, please excuse my low tone. I'm recovering from surgery. I lived. Yay. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start, these are from Lucky Resin Works, and these are all customs. So what he does is, and he is amazing, first of all, they're also redonkulously affordable, like super affordable, especially for the amount of work he puts in, because he turns the blanks, he makes the blanks, like he does this all in-house. And you can choose whether or not you want these beautiful crushed opal inlays, or if you just want them plain. All the gems you see are added by me, but everything else was done by him. You basically like he'll show you some blanks he has on hand and if you don't like those he will custom make ones depending on your color preference what and then he'll show you the blanks and he makes more than just the one he'll make a ton and then let you choose between and um, I ended up getting all four <laughs> that he uh, turned because I just thought they were absolutely stunning um, and great marketing if you think about it like you ask for one custom he's like well here's three or four absolutely stunning ones out of those which one do you want and of course i had to have them all so they're also beautiful quality you don't have to pay extra for like the metal tips and the cool part is they come in these really cool cases right and the best part about the cases is that they actually work as trays so even though I don't quite use them for my diamond art, you could use them as a travel tray. I use them for like my customization, which is why it has a bunch of glue inside. So love Lucky, his pricing's amazing, his work is amazing, highly, highly, highly recommend. I need more pens from him, absolutely. Customer service is on point, like you can't go wrong. Next up is a shop I have a love-hate relationship with. This is Butterfly Effects Wares. Um, all the gems are added by me. Um, the love is because their pens are absolutely stunning. Obviously, the quality is amazing. The hate is because they do like those drops and these bitches sell out within like three minutes. And if you get on there, like they're drop at five on Saturdays. Why do I know that? Because I do it so much. If you get on there at five o'clock, you may get one. You get on there at 501, 502, 503, you're done. You ain't getting shit. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, you're saying that, but you have doubles of these two collections. That is because literally me and my DP buddy, we will both get on the site at the same time and try to get a pen. And then I just pay for whatever. So I was lucky enough. I was able to get one. He was able to get one. I was able to get one. He was able to get one. Um, so it's really difficult. And then also they recently raised their prices. And not that they're not worth it, but now it just makes me more like, okay, do I want to blow $70 on the pen? Um, and again, the work is stunning. They're absolutely beautiful. There's no denying that. And I get the drop system to make it more fair, but it's just hard because when you fall in love and you're on the site at five and at 501, all your pens saw out of your cart, it's a little frustrating. But again, I love the shop. I love the work. I can't complain. I just gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> and once again, all the tackiness is by me. These pens don't come with all the craziness. That is just addition. Also, I name all my pens, but I will spare you all the names because, you know, you guys don't need to think I'm weirder than I already am. But you're welcome to. So this is Butterfly Effects Wears. All right, next up is Shimmering Canvases. These are some chonky wonkies. However, the one great thing about these guys is I did not add these gems. I take no credit for any additions. This was all made by them and they are stunning. They're really big. Like this is by far the biggest pen I have in my collection. 
but I saw the chains and the design. And by the way, I know I say I wouldn't talk about the names, but this one's name is Nemesis because stars. I just love it so much. It's stunning. But the great thing about these pens is that, um, I mean, they also have a drop system, so you just kind of got to catch them when you can. But also, um, I just love that I don't have to add my own gems. They add them for me. <laughs> so, and this is Princess Chonk. Again, I know I said I wouldn't do names, but these two have really cool names, so I have to tell you. So, Shimmering Canvases. Hey, we got the skinny bitches in the chat. Signal. <laughs> um, this store is called uh, K&S, I believe. I'll put the name on the screen and in the description. And these are custom. So these two, you can pick the design and then choose to have your name added. I love things with my name on it. So of course I added my name to these two. And then this one, I worked with the seller, this poor person. So I love Fallout, it's my favorite video game of all time. And I wanted a Fallout pen. This isn't my only custom Fallout pen or tray. You'll, we'll get there. But I asked for a Fallout pen and they worked with me tooth and nail to get the design I wanted. And it came out perfect. These pens are thin, but super sturdy. I did an entire, um, my first diamond, my big diamond painting of um, Lucky Cat. That was done with these two pens. They're very, very sturdy, even though they're thin. Um, and they're nice because if you want something thinner or more like a pencil, they're great for that. Also, they're ridiculously inexpensive. Like this custom pen, you know how much a custom pen costs if you're watching this video. You wouldn't believe me if I told you how much this costs. Just click their link and see. Like, it's insane how cheap these pens are and worth every damn penny. So, huge fan of this shop. Great, again, great people own it. Anyone willing to tolerate my foolishness for a custom is good in my book. Also, if you're hearing jiggling, it's because I have, this is a side note, this beautiful sound chime here. And it's supposed to go on a door, but I just love the sound of it, so I keep it on my desk so that I can hear it chime randomly as I shake. So anyway, sorry, k &S pens, again, pretty bomb. This is my bestie. She doesn't know we're besties, but we're besties. This is Madwood Turning. When she made this Taurus pen, I told her, I said, look, I'm coming for it. She does drops Wednesdays and Fridays, and I always get to the drops. Whether or not I get one is debatable, but I was able to get this one, like just ugh, fucking stunning. Um, she's also like the coolest person ever because when I told her about my fallout pen, she immediately was like, let's do it. So we got dog meat and a Nuka Cola. And then I, of course, added my gems. If you don't play fallout, none of this makes any sense and that's okay. But she was up for the task and she killed it. Um, the other cool thing about her pens is she has this scented, I don't know what you call it, pen scent. I don't know but you apply it to the wood and it makes your pen smell amazing. So if you're a scent person like me, you, you, you just, I can't say enough good things about her. Just look at her work, it speaks for itself. She does customs and then she does drops. You just need to hit her up. Like her work is stunning, it speaks for itself and she's an awesome person. So that's Madwood turning. I also have a custom in the works from her. So there will be three here eventually. Enablers Outpost. I know I went, said I wouldn't talk about names, but I'm doing it anyway. This is Siren. Um, she did my last painting with me during Mermaids and Magic. Just look at it. It's rainbow and fishnet. Um, pretty sure I did that. And then this one, I know I added these gems. This one is Farah, because that's my daughter's name who's born in January. And it's it, I got this in their January mystery box because it was called Garnet. And my daughter is January. So that's why I have this one. So Enablers Outpost. Okay, now I figured I'd do some one-offs. This, and I don't even think this shop needs an introduction, but if you have looked at their work, you know exactly who this is. You ready? We're gonna say it together. One, two, three. Norse Alchemist. Look, ah, oh, their, their pens are magical. Like, I only have one, I know, blasphemy. But it's just so stunningly beautiful and I love it so much and like, their pens are a work of art like what else is there to say my only recommendation is if you're gonna buy for them buy from their website it's cheaper than their Etsy this actually this is not a one-off I have two from them I'm a lying little goober this is Patriot team look at that I added the gems but look at the heart and the feather and the rainbow Patriot team also makes bomb ass cover minders highly recommend but look at this beautiful and then this pen I won, so this is chicken dinner, because I was a winner winner chicken dinner. I added gems to this too. Oh, just, I 
absolutely just beautiful, beautiful work, beautiful craftsmanship. And I'm currently doing a diamond painting with this one right now. I'm doing a mystery kit and um, super sturdy, super, super comfortable, like perfect size, not too thick, not too thin. And then this one's a little on the shorter side, but equally as stunning. So Patriot team, look at this chunk of monk. This was a custom. Um, I forgot the name of the shop. I'm sorry, but you'll know it because they make the lava pens. I wanted a freaking lava pen so bad. Like I was determined to get a lava pen. So I wrote them. And my favorite thing to ask people when I want a custom is I ask them to make them in my style, which is Valentine's Day meets Halloween. And I think they nailed the Halloween portion. Like if you look, there's lots of pretty gems in there. And again, I got to do this. I got to pick what I wanted in there. So I think that was perfect. But I thought it was too Halloween. So I added the gems, which I felt made it perfect for Valentine's Day and Halloween. Also it says mistress, cause that's one of my favorite things. Don't judge me. Um, but yeah, I wanted a lava pen. I was desperate for a lava pen. I got myself a lava pen, <laughs> but she thick. Like this is the fattest pen in my collection. Like. I think, yeah, I think we're thicker than Nemesis. We are about thicker, if not as thick as Nemesis. So if you like thick pens, this one's your baby. This is another new to me shop. First of all, listen. Ah, you didn't know this was an ASMR video. This is by Pens by Cheryl. And this is a 3D printed rain stick pen. Now, me being me. Oh, and the, with the captive bead of rain. I added gems because Hello, have you met me? But oh, the sound, I bought it for the sound. Ridiculously inexpensive and pretty sturdy even though it's 3D printed. And have you heard this thing? You need one. It's cheap, you know you want one. They come in colors. I just wanted white so that I could make it as tacky as I wanted. Beautiful. Sorry, I just, the noise, I can't stop. I can't stop, I like noises. If you couldn't tell. Donna Bass or Bass, however you pronounce it. So I wanted one of her pens, custom. And she gives you like a form to fill out, like a mystery pen. Do you want an inlay? Do you want gems? Do you want a captive beaded ring? I said yes to all of it. I want it all. I said, give me everything you can give me for the money I'm paying you. And she did. This pen is beautiful. Like I want more from her. I just don't know what to ask for. And I'm not on Facebook, so I can't get any of her drops. But she's infamous in the DP world. Her work is stunning. Like what more can I say? Like it's a Donna Base pen. Like <laughs> its name is Poison, I think. I don't remember. Ooh, that's not good. I'll double check myself if I'm wrong. But it is from, I got it from Patty Wax. It came with my diamond painting kit, my first diamond painting, big girl diamond painting. That's not from Michaels. And she, she's a pen, nothing fancy. Um, she's a pen and she works. <laughs> also when I diamond paint, I diamond paint with at least three pens at a time. So speaking of pens that I'm currently diamond painting with, this is Clown Vomit because the pen blank was stunning, but the pen itself looks like fucking clown vomit. It works beautifully though. Same person I think made all of these. I don't know. Um, so some of these are O'Brien's custom turning and some of these are some other company. I don't remember. I will write it on the screen. I'm so sorry. I know that's like super disrespectful, but some of these turned out. Oh, Jim, some is Jim and some is O'Brien. I don't remember which is which. This is Carnival. She's a cutie. The gems, once again, all the gems are added by me. Um, I know you're like, wow, that's not very special of you to remember, but this one is pretty, but didn't quite turn out like I wanted. This one is Avril. She's pretty cool. She's a rebel. I like her. Um, this one, it's okay. I think her name's Pink Lemonade. I don't remember. Flowers are cool. This one is pretty. This one is sentimental. So this is DJ. So as you know, I have my Farrah pen, right? So I have one for my daughter, where'd it go? So this is my daughter and this is my son. Now my son is Year of the Tiger and my dad's Year of the Tiger. My son is a water tiger. My dad, who's also Year of a Tiger, he is a gold tiger. So I got a tiger pen with gold and blue because DJ and my dad. So yeah, that pen's pretty sentimental for that reason. And you guys, other than that, the only thing else I got is this cute pen that Muni made sent me that I haven't used yet, but I keep it in my pen holder because it's adorable. That was my current diamond pen collection. As I get updates, I will update. Oh, this is just a really pretty roller that I got, but it does not work for shit. Like these rollers like this are pretty, but if you think 
they're gonna do what this does you are fucking mistaken these don't do shit they don't even roll but anyway the next collection i'm thinking of doing is either my paintings or my trays that i customized anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you get a chance to check out some of these pen shops i don't have any affiliate codes because i'm a nobody but if you go um you're welcome <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching bye